Elle magazine sat down for an interview with Joe Biden, and the journalist who conducted the interview on their behalf was none other than WAP rapper Cardi B, who I admire because she is a radical. She is an aficionado of U.S. history. She supported Bernie Sanders in 2016 and 2020. She supports Medicare for All. So I think that if anyone should be interviewing Joe Biden, it should be someone who is going to ask him about policy-specific questions. And Cardi B is someone who cares about these things. Now, I can't actually play the video of the interview for you because I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be any copyright issues with that. So I have the transcript. Uh, having said that, though, I do want to play a really, really quick clip that I found because she was explaining like what she wants. Like She wants Medicare for all. She wants um, there to be accountability for police officers. So if they kill someone, they go to jail as a normal citizen would go to jail for killing someone. And that led to a really bizarre moment, and I'm not going to try to, like, explain it. Just take a look. You know what? If I kill somebody, I got to go to jail. You got to go to jail, too. That's all I want. What the fuck was that? <laughs> so we're going to watch it back one more time, this time in slow motion. You know what? If I kill somebody, I got to go to jail. You got to go to jail, too. <laughs> now, for context, like, I'm going to read to you, as I stated earlier, what she said specifically there. But there's that weird moment where she, I'm assuming, is done talking and she's waiting for him to respond, but he wasn't paying attention. So she did a little... To get his attention <laughs> the fact that this happened um i just i love it warms my heart um so i think that that really is what was going on in joe biden's head just you know crickets and uh she had to do a little brr to get him to pay attention or i did it wrong it's a brr, more of a brr than a brr. <laughs> But anyways, um, here's the part of the interview that stood out to me because she asks him about all of these wonderful things that the left wants. And um, she ends up getting him to admit that there's really no good reason why we can't have the things she talks about, including Medicare for all. So she asks, and also what I want is free Medicare. It's important to have free health care because look what is happening right now. Of course, I think we need free college and I want black people to stop getting killed and no justice for it. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I just want laws that are fair to black citizens and that are fair to cops too. If you kill somebody who doesn't have a weapon on them, you go to jail. You know what? If I kill somebody, I've got to go to jail. You've got to go to jail, too. That's what I want. Joe Biden then responded, saying, There's no reason why we can't have all of that. Presidents have to take responsibility. I understand one of your favorite presidents is Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt said the American people can take anything if you tell them the truth. Sometimes the truth is hard, but right now we're in a position where we have an opportunity to make so much progress. The American public has had the blinders taken off. So I think it's interesting because she actually got him to admit that there's no good reason why we can't have all of these things. Free college. Medicare for all. So the question is, if there's no good reason for us to uh, have these things or not have these things, why don't you support them, Joe Biden? Why don't you support Medicare for all and free college? Why, when we are calling on the police to be defunded, are you saying, actually, I'm going to do the opposite and increase funding for police officers because they need more money? For what? For more implicit bias training like that's not helping so you know it's bizarre to me that he says this oh the american people they've taken the blinders off except no they didn't no they didn't because they supported you over bernie sanders in the primary in spite of the fact that they support medicare for all because they believe the lies in the mainstream media about you being more electable but if you concede that there's no good reason for us to not have these things why the fuck don't we get these things if you're president why are you saying you'd veto medicare for all if you were president and it arrived at your desk why would you not support these things if you admit that there's no good reason for us to not be supporting these things or were you just not paying attention hence the need for the brrr? i can't stand joe biden i absolutely cannot stand him because he speaks out of both sides of his mouth like he'll put out a tweet saying i believe that healthcare is a right and not a privilege. But then he doesn't support Medicare for all. In fact, he will argue against it. And all that we get is him saying he supports a public option, although even now he's starting to backtrack on that. So 
I just, I don't understand. If you think that there's no good reason why we shouldn't have Medicare for all and free college, greater accountability for police officers, why aren't you advocating for these things? Why wouldn't you give this to us? Thousands of people are dying every single year because they don't have health care. More are now dying because of COVID-19 and lack of adequate health care. Even if they have health insurance, they still might get really large medical bills. Why don't you support the solution that would stop all of this? It just is infuriating. It's infuriating. Americans have not taken the blinders off. You can say that they're waking up. They have some sense that urgent action is needed if we want to stop the trajectory that we're headed on, but they still elect the same fucking politicians who keep fucking them over. They keep voting against their own self-interest, so I don't buy it. If Americans would have actually taken the blinders off, they would have voted overwhelmingly for Bernie Sanders. And they did at first, but then there was that, you know, Hail Mary by the establishment. So, you know, it's just... It's irritating. Like, it's funny. I appreciate Cardi B asking this question. Um, you know, I, I think that he wasn't necessarily prepared to get any questions about policy, having this interview with a celebrity. But I mean, he ended up admitting, yeah, there's no good reason for me to not give you these policies. But I'm still not going to do it because my donors don't want you to do it. That's really what this is all about. So if you can see that there's no good reason for us, you know, why we can't have Medicare for all and free college, then you are admitting that you're a bad person. Because you would be doing it if you thought that there was no good reason to not have these things. He knows this is about, you know, greasing the wheels of uh, capitalism. Making sure that we still have a healthcare industry that's a commodified thing. Healthcare itself isn't a public good, it's a commodity. Education is a commodity. Like, this is what neoliberalism is. It's why the Democratic Party has shifted so far to the right. Because they've all embraced the Republican Party's neoliberal economic agenda and it's just it's frustrating because we need someone who is not joe biden at this time like we needed bernie sanders and even he would have been a compromise but now we get joe biden and he admits there's no good reason why we can't have these things but i'm still not going to give it to you because fuck you that's why fuck you vote for me otherwise you like donald trump i just <sighs> this is exhausting it's tiring um but i do love cardi b at least she's a light in this world i stand her